Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. Thank you for joining me today. Glory, hallelujah, Father God. We bring you all the praise, all the glory. For you are worthy. You are worthy to be praised, my King. I pray that you speak through me, Father God, that the words from my mouth and the desires of my heart are pleasing to you, my King. I pray that everyone listening to this message is blessed beyond measure, that your favor is upon them today, Father God, and that we remove the scales from their eyes, Father God, so they may see your truth, Lord, and the truth will fall on fertile ground and bear much fruit for your kingdom, Lord. I pray this in the glorious, mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, everybody. I want to talk to you about even when it gets hard. Uh, I want to tell you a little story. So uh, I uh, had made plans to go see a recital, one of my nephew's recitals, and um, I totally forgot about it. And I get the phone call to remind me that the recital was in the morning. And I was in bed. I had planned on staying in bed all day. I was tired. It was raining outside. And man, I sure didn't want to get out of bed. But I jumped out of bed quickly and got dressed. Not because I had to, but because I thought about how much he loves me and how much I love him. You know, and then it reflected on my relationship with God that there are times that we don't feel like picking up the Bible. There are times that we don't feel like praying. There are times that we don't feel like doing things. But then I just think about the nails in his wrist and what he sacrificed for me. And man, it makes it so much easier for me to do everything I need to do to honor him because he loved me before I loved him. He gave his life for me, and I just, I want to live my life to honor and glorify him because he is worthy. He is so worthy of it. I pray today that we stop to, uh, that we stop allowing our circumstances and our feelings to get in our way with a relationship with our Heavenly Father. All he wants is our heart, man. Give it to him, and your life will never be the same again. Oh, he is so worthy of, uh, of our love, of our obedience. He's so worthy of it because we could never, ever, ever, have earned the salvation that he's given us and the righteousness that he's given us. We don't deserve it. We couldn't earn it, but yet he gave it to us because he loves us. I pray today that you love him as much or even a quarter as much as he loves you and start to walk in alignment with him today in the glorious mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for joining me. I love you guys. I am on Humble Highway and Redemption Road. Where are you at? Holla.